I know things you never see. You never see someone taking a shit while running at full speed. Come on, kid, get rid of some of them turds in the shit box. Welcome to the Bathroom Break Podcast with me, Rab himself. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rab from the Bathroom Break Podcast. Just wanted to take a minute to thank you all for listening to the podcast. It's been a lot of fun to sit down with some really interesting people and shoot the shit, you know, talk all that poop and stuff. But uh, yeah, we want to try and make this thing better for you. So we're going to need to raise some funds. If you head over to greengate.bigcartel.com, there's a donation link there. If you feel so inclined to donate to the Bathroom Break Podcast, awesome. If not, sit back and listen. We're going to talk some crap. Okay, and uh, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, hello, 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 welcome, welcome whoa. into the world. I want to eat some mushrooms, and not just some, but all, uh, of, them. all of the mushrooms. And then have you just talk to me with these like going like this? It would go in, out, in, in, out. God, hello, hello, God, hello. yes, it's me. <laughs> wow, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> sucks that it all turned this out hype to be for this you? Guy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Oh, well. I had all these high hopes for yeah. God and it turned yeah. out to be this dude. Yeah. And <laughs> Chris. Some dumb guy Rab. Named Chris. <laughs> Bathroom. Yeah. Talking. Bathroom. <laughs> Gee, yeah, God, you suck. <laughs> Jesus, God. All you talk about is shitting. Yeah. Poop. Mm. Well, hey, it's good stuff. People need to do it. Yeah. What would happen if you didn't shit? Like, what, what do you think would happen? Do you think it would just come out of your mouth? If you didn't poop out of your anus? Yeah, like eventually. Well, how are you eat, what are you eating? Ah. A lot of fiber. A lot, <laughs> A lot like, of well, fiber. Uh, like you almost like sewed your butthole shut? Somebody did. I don't know if you'd be able to do it. Do you think you could if you legs over? Sewed a butthole? Yeah. Your own butthole. Ooh, you know what? I got a great idea. Super glue your butthole <laughs> shut and then eat a bunch of fiber. That's happens. an idea for Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It'll yeah. just blow the hole yeah. over a guy, I think, right? Just, I mean, I doubt it would. That's like some weird, like that movie Seven, where the guy, like, you know, like, kills people because <laughs> they're, you know, sin or whatever. Like, yeah, but he missed that. He, yeah. he had that perfect opportunity yeah. to, to super glue somebody's butthole shut. Blew it. <laughs> Blew it. She did. Oh, man. Why is it that every time I watch a show, it's about poop? Yeah, oh, well, yeah, that's right. It's a bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. It makes perfect sense to uh-huh. lead off every episode with either pee or poop or puke. <laughs> yeah, that's a part of it, too. Have you ever done a, 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 the trifecta, puked? at the, All at the same time? Puked, uh, masturbated, and pooped <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> Ejaculating while you're throwing up and shitting. Have you? No, I... It's glorious! <laughs> God! Yeah, yes. God, you're totally <laughs> blowing it! Yeah, you you've th- created all these things and you have never trifected? <laughs> Come on! Dude. You would think that God could Let do something Let me explain like how that. it works. First oh, of all, man. you have to get really intoxicated the night before. And the only yes. way that you can cure the hangover is by masturbation. Right. It's true. Yes. Like, coffee, nothing else works. <laughs> <laughs> The blood flowing, like it gets you going and it works. I promise you. And it just so happens that, you know, you're hungover. So you might actually puke during the process. Right. And one particular time at somebody's house that is like, you know, I don't want to have to say <laughs> whose house, but Ozzy Osbourne's and yeah. we were hanging out. And it was the night, uh, the, the day after this wild night we had. And um, I'm sitting in this bathroom where the sink is literally close to. The, 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 the throne, the, the toilet, yes, yes. the shitter. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Distance. And between the, the sink and the throne is a little magazine rack. And it's a magazine rack that has a Playboy sticking out. Uh, uh, on it and, okay and <laughs> so it's so like i'm like perfect environment oh, for yes, the trifecta duh. I, <laughs> that's the only way <laughs> and so i put the playboy down uh between the sink and actually i put it down on the floor as i was shitting and then as i was <sighs> masturbating i was just like oh, and i threw up into the sink 
<laughs> over the Playboy and sh was shitting, and then I blasted it. Uh, is this appropriate to say? All of it is very appropriate. <laughs> okay. I'm just talking. I, I totally forgot that we're recording this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I shouldn't oh, have we said are? this, right? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is the place to tell those yeah, stories. It was, uh, oh, man, it was that's glorious. hilarious. I will never forget it. And, 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 like, and I, I don't know if I should say anything about, like, you know, the per like the house I was at, obviously, but it was the 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 magazine was addressed to Mr. The Oz uh, man himself. Yes, and so I'm like, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, that's an incredible moment in life. I will <laughs> never forget it. <laughs> yeah, how could you? <laughs> you? You hit the trifecta I, in Ozzy Osbourne's I, I, house. Oh, where those are he the days. Had, he those set days. you up. I mean, he knew. Yeah, he was like, was, he's like, here's a perfect opportunity. There's a shitter, a sink. Yeah. And we might as well it put it like a I, little I, nudie I just mag. happened to be there. Yeah. If it wasn't me, it was somebody else. Yeah, somebody else. You just you, you know, wanted I was the that lucky moment. one. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, thank God. It, like, thank God. Thank, thank, thank you, God. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. That moment. Yeah. It, it's like rare moments like that are what <laughs> we live for. I mean, we don't live for that. They just happen. But, but the memory of those moments, like hmm. any random day comes and goes. And how many of those days do you remember? No, it's the rare moments where you trifecta or you jump <laughs> something you tr always wanted to or yeah. you finally... Make out with that girl, yeah. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you'll never a, forget your first kiss, but you'll forget the thousandth. Yeah, yeah, thousandth. thousandth. <laughs> yeah, she'll tell you. But like, who you... was your thousandth kiss? <laughs> Try and say thousandth. Thousandth kiss. <laughs> God can't uh, even say thousandth kiss. I, 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 all along, God's had a problem with speech. But you, you know what I'm saying? It's that first kiss. I mean, so the, the, the shit puke moments. cum day, that's going to be, that's going to go down in history. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you'll never forget it, no matter where you're at. Uh -huh. You could be camping. And then it'll just pop right into your head. Well, you'll just be like, I mean... You try to recreate it while you're camping. That's, but... why, that's why I quit drinking five years ago. I said, you know, I've already done the trifecta <laughs> the from peak is being here. hungover. Like, what else can I do? There's <laughs> nothing more that alcohol can do for yeah, me. Yeah, it's all downhill from there. It's, there's just, there is not even a hill. <laughs> It's just flat, <laughs> boring, lame, plateaus, just, like yes. an open field of nothing, not even any butterflies. Yeah. Oh, man. No, no butterflies. butterflies. Not in your tummy or Not in your like... tummy? <laughs> not in your bum bum? Nowhere. Not in your cum cum? The, the, the day no butterflies. the butterfly died. It's the day the butterfly died. <laughs> oh. So I stopped drinking. Hey, that's a good reason. <laughs> but I've been really stoned for five Man, years. Man, <laughs> I guess I haven't hit my, pe my peak yet. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Some call it the peak, some call it rock bottom. Yeah, but, well, you know, if, it's all it, relative. Like, the end result is the same. You stop doing it because you're like, I can't do it any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it any worse than that. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you stop either but, way. So. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> That's so go good. ahead and ask your question. <laughs> <laughs> My question is. Just kidding. Anyways. No, anyways. man, that's that's awesome. So you so you uh, you decided to uh, stop drinking, and, and then yeah, like you're you're I, not into it. Well, like yeah, it was like five years ago. Um, to be honest, like like drinking, like it was fun. You know, it was yeah. great, but it was only great because it was part of the day. It was part right, of the right, process right. for, especially when we were filming. Yeah. You know, when you're out, like film and stuff and, and when jackass became what it what like after yeah. the first season of jackass everybody yeah. was trying to you know would buy you a drink you don't have to oh, pay yeah, for a yeah. drink you basically are sponsored for <laughs> 20 years or for the rest of your life yes, depending on how you everyone. wanted to choose yeah <laughs> you were basically sponsored for drinking yeah and like and eventually it got to the point where there was like it was almost like groundhog's day you wake up feeling hungover yeah. like you feel like even if like I, I i couldn't even get drunk drunk dr getting drunk wasn't even like part of it yeah like, right like i'd be you know five six seven ten jack and cokes gin jacks whatever i drink a lot of jack i'd be on tour with bands you know shooting photos and whatever yeah. and it just became part of what you do and, right. and and the getting drunk like yeah K yeah. stand days those K stand days are over bro <laughs> yeah, beer bongs like the only thing you can beer bong now is shots of whiskey like yeah, straight yeah. fifth of whiskey <laughs> that's how you can black out real <laughs> yeah. cool yeah and awesome. trifecta by the way the trifecta on a beer bong of whiskey whew, <laughs> next level dude <laughs> okay, like everything comes out at one. double speed yes <laughs> even the jizzman <laughs> the jizzman it's like boom <laughs> 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 you you murder. Oh. If God. you try to have sex 
Uh, yeah. After a, a beer bong of whiskey, you'll murder that woman or male. <laughs> yeah. Depending. Murdered by whiskey <laughs> trifecta death. Murdered by whiskey jizz. <laughs> uh, anyway. I think that's happened a lot, actually. Probably. That's, that's, the, mo- that's the number one cause of death, yeah. really. Yeah, that's probably. At least in some <laughs> third world countries where they don't have whiskey. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I quit drinking, stopped drinking. I don't like to say quit because I'm not a quitter. I'm yeah. not a quitter. Yeah. But I quit drinking. Uh, because I literally one day, like, I basically uh, just, like, we each have our own personal, like, rock bottom. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter if it's heroin or if it's masturbation. <laughs> like, mm. drinking, whatever it is. I like, like good masturbation. Yes, but bottom. you can also overdo it, and <laughs> oh, then you can't it escape it, and it haunts you in your <laughs> dreams, and you're like, I can't stop thinking about doing this, and then it takes over your body <laughs> and your mind. You know? That's true. Yeah, so yes. it doesn't matter what the addiction is or what the rock bottom that you need to hit is. Yeah. The end result is that it, it, you, you can't get any worse. Your will to live is like, yeah, like you can be alive, but you're not living. Like, yeah, for you know, sure. Just because you're not you're dead. Jacking off all nobody day really long. is going to like there's <laughs> your friends and your family that really care about you. But the, the truth is you could go weeks. Yeah. With like not talking to some like to people oh yeah exactly you could just lay in bed for a week i, I was thinking and like that's a week of your life that you didn't even really want to live because you're so consumed with this ailment that you can't like yeah. change yeah and so just because you're breathing does not mean you're like living like you're not alive yeah yeah absolutely and so i got to that point and it was like you know and it started i and i thought it would you know it would help by by quitting to drink so uh, one day I, I took myself to the hospital, to the emergency room, and um, I, 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 they wanted to commit me to the psychiatric ward, but since I hadn't hurt myself or anybody else, right. I basically was able to put my clothes back on and, and do it. And I literally... Put them back on. What for, were they doing to you? Well, there? we were taking care of the other trifecta We <laughs> were taking pictures. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, bedpan. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> uh, but I... I, I literally just i didn't even know i didn't even know where i was at like i literally yeah. was like almost out of body and i just like i can take care of this myself i can do this and i stopped drinking cold turkey straight up not one drink of alcohol in five years from that day wow that's awesome because there was no other way to stay alive for me because i yeah i basically just gave up you just basically like, i didn't care anymore and yeah. it wasn't drinking necessarily it was just that repetitive Waking up in the morning, I mean, so much pain already from all the injuries and, and yeah. stuff and alcohol like, and, and cigarettes. I quit smoking cigarettes a year oh, ago. Nice. Yeah. And that was super hard. Yeah. Uh, but I realized on that because of the, the drinking when I quit that, that um, it wasn't the addiction to, to, to the chemical that I was addicted to. It was the action of doing it. Yeah. So... Cigarettes to like what I did is I rolled 10 joints. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfectly good joints. And um, I threw away my pack of cigarettes and then I, I, I rolled 10 joints that night and I smoked two joints a day for three days in quarters. So it was like I had eight cigarettes oh, a yeah, day. Yeah. And I stayed home at my house. I didn't leave my house for like four days. And I just would would smoke the, 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 the joints in, like as if it were eight cigarettes. And I realized that I was addicted to going outside and escaping whatever it is I was doing. Even if I was at Disneyland, I still needed that yeah. escape where I could just like, uh, you know, look up in the sky and, and just be like, cool, man, I'll figure it out. And the cigarette, that, doing that action and that escape was what I was addicted to. Yeah. And it's funny because like at work, like if you have a job and whatever, like it's, it's in our society, it's like accustomed to be a, a smoke break. It's mandatory. Yeah. You but there's no, smoke there's, there's no so jack off yeah. break. Yeah. 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 Or, or, or like, I want to go outside and eat some <laughs> chocolate. It's like, I have chocolate break. break. Okay. See you in 10. Yeah. 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 Chocolate <laughs> break. Chocolate break. Man, you've been taking a lot of chocolate breaks. Like, bro, that shit don't fly Dude, we with need your boss. chocolate break. Serious. <laughs> It's like a smoke break. Yeah. Why? That's the only break you get other than the two-hour break that you get. Yeah. Smoke break. Yeah. It's no, that's it, funny. It's, I, I mean, it is a thing. Like, you know, I, I found myself when I quit smoking cigarettes that I did find myself still going out to that group of people. Yeah. Just not smoking. And how did you, still how, how being could you around not that. smoke when you're around it? Because you realized it was the, the, 
that addiction to that it was that the environment thing, yeah and just trying to be social yeah. and just have a moment to breathe or whatever what did you do instead of smoking anything when, when i like first stopped water or um yeah. well yeah i drink water but when i first stopped um i was like with a straw Okay. So I would just fuck with this straw and I'd be biting the shit out of it, bending it up, doing yeah. this. And I, that's what I'd be doing are good constantly. Too. Like while I'm standing in a cigarette circle, just being like, fucking with this, do you still, chewing this. Do you still do that? No, that eventually kind of it goes away. away. Yeah. And now that anxiety, you know why yeah. you did that? Because nicotine creates anxiety. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like hardcore. Like with my, I've had, you know, lots of injuries, like 27 surgeries. I think I say that on every interview I ever do. Yeah. Oh, shit. Cops, they're here. Out. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. That's good. That was a joke. Oh, mm. what is I, it? I'm not. I'm oh, you're not, not wanted in, in any states. Not by anybody. <laughs> we're in the. Yeah, we're in beautiful Malibu right now. Yeah, yeah. In your conference I, room. It's, it's in my conference room. My, <laughs> my friend Tom. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, it's his conference room <laughs> slash dining room. That slash is. incredible. We're home. setting this up for the Last Supper. Yes. Uh, eventually, we're gonna come here and just. Watch it all go down right here. <laughs> I don't know what's going down, but we're going to watch it. Yeah. Mm. God. Oh, yes. <laughs> God will be here. I do know what's going down. <laughs> yeah. What? Dude, we put all of our trust into you. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong. You Wrong God. God. <laughs> yeah. I'll wake up now. But yeah, man. No, that's awesome because I feel like, uh, I mean, I, I, I don't know. It's been maybe maybe a little bit of time since I've seen you, but you do yeah. look good. Like you look Thank healthy you. and, and, uh, and just seem, you know, in, in good spirits and all that. And, yeah. and not that you weren't last time, but, uh, no, I wasn't, but, uh, but I yeah. saw you in Portland. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. I think I, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I think I was not drinking at the time. Still, okay. At yeah. That time. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's weird just, when I say maybe five like, years yeah. have gone by without drinking yeah. to me. And this might be the case for every human right now that's in society, at least in America and, and other yeah. strife, you know, but is that our, our lives are going so fast because of technology. It's yeah. like, there's no break. There's no camping out by the fire. I mean, we still yeah. do that. I do that. But <laughs> while, while looking at this. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. But the information that has been, is, is out there is, is a nonstop. We, yeah. like we as humans haven't changed. We still have our bodies and our brains, but technology has made us have to advance and live in such a way that is way faster than ever. Yeah. So five years to me seems more like five months, if that. Yeah. But like I say five years. And when you say like, if, let's say you got married and you're like, I've been married for five years. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Five. It's like those, those pivotal moments in life yeah. that you can look back at and, comp and then base the time off of and be like, damn. And then you're yeah. like, wow, time is like, that doesn't seem that long ago, but it is it's five yeah. years have gone by. Yeah. So. I know. And same thing. I, 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 uh, I had nine years in, in September of drink and drug free. And does and that sound crazy to you? Yeah. <laughs> like nine <laughs> like, years yeah, you yeah, haven't yeah. drank it. Yeah. Right? Like in, you know, we're halfway there, but in September it'll be a fucking decade. And I was like, damn, a decade went by. Whoa. <laughs> you know, cause it does seem like it wasn't that long ago, but didn't it seem like, yeah. like and, and, and it's, some could say it was cause you know, like when you, when, when you're bored, time moves slower. Oh yeah, you know yeah, that's. Yeah. Or when you when you were a kid, like it seemed like it lasted forever. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think that that's just the, the. I think it's real that this technology has yeah, yeah. has made the human race completely different for our consciousness. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, like you think about like you almost have no time to yourself because you're farting around on some yeah. phone or figuring out. Like you're taking what, a you're yeah. taking a trifecta. Yeah. And <laughs> you're using the phone for your trifecta, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah. you get blown up, and all of a sudden, uh -huh. Instagram hits. You yeah. Know? I was like, like, oh, <laughs> I got a text. You went Are you live. Be there? Oh no. Oh, sh oh yeah. And somehow you went live. <laughs> you didn't even know it. And next thing you know, <laughs> trifecta is all. Everyone's over. talking about it's it. It's viral. It's viral. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new virus. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a the viral. new virus. Is the dude, trifecta. Dude, you God. got phone aids. You do got to go live yeah. next time you hit it. Oh, well, you won't be because yeah. you're not drinking. Yeah. Damn it. Well, I mean, it's a get, reason to start. I could purposely get food poisoning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm hey. really good at that too. I, I've heard. I read like, the reviews. This place uh, is fucking smoked clams. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Keep them coming. Oh man, God! Damn. <laughs> oh God, live! <laughs> go, 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 live! 
<laughs> oh, that, that, oh, then maybe man. I'll then maybe I'll be famous. Right? Yeah, like exactly. Aaron who? Oh, the guy that uh, yeah. he went live uh, he right went in live. the middle of the trifecta. <laughs> I don't want to be famous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, being be, be famous sucks. Like, yeah, like not not. I mean, uh, it's not what it's part up. of like what you sign up for. I mean, we didn't sign up. Did you know for... that you signed no. up for that? I don't no. think anybody knew. That. No, but but <laughs> it, like my. You the have to just get used to it. Was but. like I grew up in a mortuary, you know, for 12 years. So yeah. I saw my first dead body when I was like three. And it was the living people that would come to the funeral that yeah. that really like woke me up to all this reality of of what's happening in life around us and all this. And because the stories that they had to say about the person that was in the casket yeah, damn. was the the memories and the stories that is what lives. And continues on yeah. past your breath. Yeah. And I learned that very young. And that's why how basically Danger Aaron ever even be, became. I the mean, thing, Danger yeah. Aaron fucked me. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah, had 27 yeah. surgeries because of that dickhead. <laughs> that, that dumb I'm dick. Aaron McGee. Yeah, I yeah. have to live in this body. That dude <laughs> thought he asshole. was a superhero. Yeah. And apparently. Turns out he wasn't. Yeah. Newsflash. Newsflash, dick. <laughs> yeah, totally you totally mortal. Me. Yeah. <laughs> All, but, but because yeah. I wanted to live every single day and like, every moment based on it, it could end right now. And I wanted to like do something that wasn't just like, I don't know, like not to say normal is not great because it is. But, but, but more so like do what you were supposed to do. I wanted to you know, like, like leave something behind yeah. that was like, even if it was just, you know, peeing in a snow cone and, and eating it. Right, or, right. Or whatever. Well, like, hey, that's not just something. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that's thank incredible. You. Thank you. It's incredible. <laughs> I know. It's, like it's not much quite the most the talented though, thing I've ever uh, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, dude, the commitment <laughs> that it takes to, to, that it takes to <laughs> just... Drop your trowel in front of your homies, <laughs> whip it out in the Let cold, go. and just like know that that warm piss that's hitting that cone is going to be in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, it's going to melt it so fast. That <sighs> melt right in your Most mouth. Most talented thing I've ever done. Yes, uh, uh, clearly. That yeah. and laying in a tanning bed for an hour and a half with baby oil on me. Mm. The sunburned jackass felt, on my chest. That, that felt that, great, I'm sure. I was, dude, I... I, I <laughs> I can't believe my parents must be so proud of how smart I am. Uh, well, yeah, I yeah. think they, I think they, well, maybe the word should be dedicated, yeah. committed, yeah. Kind of committed. Yeah. No, smart. I think <laughs> smart. Okay, it. Yeah. Smarts it. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely it. Yeah. They, they but, were probably well aware. Cause I'm thinking like when you were young like that, I mean, Oh, I was playing in the, like, like the first yeah. prank I ever did. Like my dad was selling a casket yeah. to a family that just lost their, oh, their loved man. one. Yeah. And I was seven <laughs> and, I went down into the casket room and closed the casket door in the casket. <clears throat> and he got to the casket that I was in. <clears throat> and I, he opened it and I went, ah! and I jumped out. Oh, my God. I deserve to go to hell, God. I don't want to go to H-E double hockey sticks. But yeah. if for You're any down. reason at all ever in the history of my 42 years, that would be the reason. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, like, what was your oh, dad's dude, reaction? Everyone like, was in shock. The family like, started crying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I looked. I looked up, and I <laughs> like crawled out as quickly as I could. As a seven-year-old, he was really spry. Yes. And I looked at my dad, and he just goes, "Get upstairs. You get the fuck out of here." <laughs> and, and and he was really quiet. And you know, back like back in the '80s, you know, yeah. spanking was totally like that's and it that should be spanking. When you're a kid, you don't know the difference between pain and pleasure unless you feel it. Yeah. So I agree with like somewhat spanking. I don't so believe you're saying you should it was beat pleasure. your kids. Well, <laughs> I don't That's think I don't you think you should beat you your kids. But I think you should discipline them. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. I don't well, think you yeah, should beat yeah. them. But yeah. But that particular day, I deserved to beat. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I ran upstairs and I went straight to the bathroom yeah. because at the time, this is when those uh, toilet paper commercials where you stuff toilet paper down your pants. Oh, yeah. And you could jump off a building and not get hurt. Mm -hmm. You remember? I, I think yeah. that was Charmin or Dan. Yeah. I can't remember which one. But <laughs> I, I went to the bathroom, unrolled both two rolls of toilet paper, stuffed them down my pants, went straight to my room, laid on my bed, knowing that he was going to come Smart up move. to spank me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was 100% well, deserved. And, and he's like, 
come on. And I was just like, oh. and I knew what was up, and he didn't. And then he spanked me and spanked me with his belt that said Ken, because his name, and it Ken? had fish on it, because he's the fish and mortician. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a branded what, there's fish all over it? Yeah. Because he's like literally uh, had five world records for fishing. Oh, like, whoa. He's a professional fly fisherman. Yeah. Uh, but he was also a mortician, so he was the fish and mortician. Yeah. So I'm getting <laughs> spanked by the fish and mortician's leather belt with his name on it. Fish on. Like, ah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> right? But he, little does he know, I got around. toilet paper stuffed in my pants, yeah. and he doesn't know, and he's spanking with the toilet paper. I can't feel a thing. That's yeah, perfect. Dude, like, I, I'll tell you, there was quite a few spankings, and I deserved every one of them, and I just started laughing, and he looked at me and was just like... I have like Damien. Yeah. Uh, like da- like <laughs> I have psycho Satan. Is, like I'm sorry. I, I was a, you were around all this death that some demon came into your body, but yeah. you are possessed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I pulled the toilet paper out and he didn't know what to say, but I waited until he was tired enough that he couldn't spank me anymore. And then I just, I went, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I ran off. Yeah. <laughs> that was so my he, first prank. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That, so then he's like, oh, this demon kid. But then he's like, he's actually smarter than I thought. He's yeah, got that right? I think at that the, point, yeah. from that day, he just was like, okay, Aaron, you're on your own. <laughs> you do what you're going <laughs> to you do. You got this one, kid. Yeah, we'll see, Dude, we'll that's see you on the other side. But, yeah. But literally, like, like that put a whole, like, it, it, it made me who I am today. I, I, I really hold value and ethics and morals and the consciousness that we have as a human. Yeah, and, and because of those times. When because you're young. yeah, and and you can change. You don't have to always like if you grew up not so great. You don't have to be stuck in that path. You can live right. today and just do what's right and good. But um, you know, I live every day as I want to be remembered. Yeah, as if today was my last day. Would I want to be remembered for burning someone, being a dick? No. No. So if it costs me money that day to not yeah. to not be a dick, it's fine by me. Yeah. Because I, it's more important to be able to, to like let go of yeah. life and be happy and pure as good as you can be. Yeah, hell yeah. And all of those philosophies I learned as a kid because the living people that lost the person they loved the most yeah. had the stories. They still were alive. They were telling the stories of the person they loved. And like that's the most important thing the energy that you leave behind from the life you lived i think so i was like i'm gonna just go full bore yeah full bore hell yeah like i'm gonna do like why i'm gonna use my body to find my soul okay damn and, that's yeah that's good and i just went hard and you know i've had 27 surgeries now broken my neck three times <sighs> first time i was Fuck. 18 like yeah 11 knee surgeries my hands my face you know when Bam ripped that Lamborghini out of my face, or the tooth yeah. out of my face with that Lamborghini. Yeah. He's a shit car anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it broke my face to my eyeball, cracked yeah. all the way up. Yeah. To, and it took six months to heal. I know. It's crazy. Like, you don't, you don't even think that. You it's think, the oh, it's just, bone it'll just pull this out. And it's like, it breaks your fucking <laughs> yeah. face. Yeah. So they had to bone graft somebody else's bone into my mouth. <laughs> Jesus but Christ. But it's yeah. the most famous tooth ever. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. maybe not ever. I, that's kind of a dumb thing to say. Well, but, I mean, it is well known. <laughs> yes. That this dickhead here got his tooth ripped out by that dickhead in his nice car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and now I have platinum with black, or with the black diamond. Hey, hey, it looks nice. So, yeah, <laughs> it I is a nice tooth. No, it's yeah. decent. Yeah. If I ever hit rock bottom, yeah, <laughs> uh, I I can hock it, and I'm back, baby. <laughs> you know, like, come again. on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ten bucks. Ten bucks is all you need. Yep. Chip in a chair. <laughs> Chip in a chair. Chip in a chair. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. So, so when, okay, when you're young, because like, I'd love to hear the story of like how snowboarding became like a thing, you know, for you. Like, um, yeah. So like, uh, I because you say you broke, you, like you, like when you were 18. Yeah. I broke my neck snowboarding. Yeah, you broke your neck. Yeah. For so, the first, the yeah. first time. Yeah. Um, I grew up skateboarding like yeah. as a kid, uh, in, in McMinnville where I grew up, uh, mm-hmm. And that was in like, I think I got my first skateboard when I was in the second grade. It was like 1982 or something. 1986. No, 82. I can't remember. The 80s. I can't remember those 80s, bro. (laughs) Too hopped up. Yeah. (laughs) Seven-year-old party animal. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Sniffles. Yeah, it was was snowing a lot. You go snowboarding up today? (laughs) No, just hanging out at home. (laughs) You got powder or not? I've never done coke once in my life. Really? Not one time. Man. 
ever. You're, you're not in missing all the ma- like, anything. No, I've, I, no, I, 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 yeah. I thank you. Yeah, I, I cannot know. say that about myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying I, I, I'm cool, but yeah. it is kind of rare that. But yeah, that you never did like, that. Like, especially around all the yes. people. And, and the crowds yeah. that we were wandering in, yeah, it's, we were it is rare. Monsters. That, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. And you didn't but, realize it then. I, do, I think when, we were, like, you, when you look back, you're like, okay, we were fucking nuts. And, I, and you didn't realize it then. You're like, oh, this is normal. Because everybody else was. Well, if everyone around yeah. you is the same as you are, yeah. and you are all pushing yourself to go to the, <laughs> beyond the limits. Yes. And, and, it and, seems normal. And I'm not talking about a sci-fi show. I'm yeah. talking about reality. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. look at your home, and you're like, damn, that was so gnarly. Yeah, yeah. You're an idiot. Mm-hmm. And then you go, oh, I can do it better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got you on this one. <laughs> and, and that mentality hasn't gone away. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're a little bit more chill now, yeah. maybe. But like, but still if somebody were to offer you a good, <laughs> nice, you know, tanning bed for an hour, you might go ahead and say, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't learn a lesson. Yeah, I'm no. going to get right into it. Yeah, prove it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Exactly. Chicken? <laughs> yeah, no, don't you say that. Dude, just yeah, yeah. Marty McFly, bro. Uh-huh. Don't Marty McFly yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyways, back to... Um, so, snowboarding, so yeah. snowboarding, yeah. So I, I grew up skating, and then um, I also snowmobiling as a kid. My parents, we'd go snowmobiling. Yeah. Um, you you grew up in Portland, or uh, I grew up uh, as a, like the age of three to seven uh, in Hood River. Yeah. And and I was born in McMinnville, Oregon. Yeah. Um, and then moved back to McMinnville, and that's where we lived downtown on the in the mortuary. I lived upstairs. My my room was above the dead people. Cool. <laughs> All the souls are just floating I, through. Like, I literally see <laughs> yeah. dead people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I say, actually. They stole that line from me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Every yeah, day. Yeah, like, come you. on, really? Yeah. I'm like, and I, took I, it. I love it when people are like, oh, we're mortuary. Hey, mm. You watch Six Feet Under? I'm like, no, dickhead, I lived it. Yeah, yeah. Why do I want to watch <laughs> it? my life. Like, it's like you're a janitor. You're going to watch a show about being a janitor? <laughs> Hell no. Fuck those assholes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they yeah. stole my idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my life is that <laughs> show. Yeah. 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 Anyways, but um, so... I was uh, going up to the mountain all the time already, and so when I was 15, I basically I got a snowboard uh, from a friend, borrowed it, and then I worked at a grocery store for. Uh, actually, I worked at a, a golf course picking up range balls uh, yeah. in a golf cart. Yeah, that guy. But, but this was trying before to hit. they had the cage. <laughs> yeah, that makes like, sense. Yeah, but like it doesn't because <laughs> this is the 90s, not like like. <laughs> Everything's like, adding like, up now. Like 100 <laughs> AD or something. This is like 1993. Yeah. yeah. Right? Like, right. <laughs> you would think they would have had it figured out that you could put a cage around mm. the, the golf cart that's picking up What's the range balls. What's the fun balls. in that? And, and a friend of mine, that his dad was the pro, he would purposely try to hit me. Yeah. And I got hit. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, twice hard. <laughs> I think we knew that. Yeah. So I made enough money to buy us my own snowboard, and then after yeah. that, I quit that job. And yeah. I basically just, like, my life was dedicated to snowboarding. So I didn't drink or do anything uh, that would, like, I didn't even date girls because I just want to stay focused yeah. on kind of getting out of town, learning my, like, being, getting my life. Like, like it's, re- it's crazy. Uh, I wish there was a way to, to, explain this to the whole world i mean I, I obviously the whole world's going to listen to this so uh, this is yeah, a good platform the entire world absolutely this is being <laughs> translated in all languages correct absolutely okay cool just want to make sure before i live s- yeah live we okay. went live already um but but like when you're a kid the things that are so important to you like the end of the world happened when you know this d- dumb little thing happened yeah it's, it's like so important but you have a whole life like you're gonna be yeah. 80 maybe and when you're 16 18 like you'll look back and you won't even remember that what was important to you. Really. Oh yeah. And and we like we live in this moment where it's like that is so important that you would do something so drastic like take your own life or take others or do something yeah. that will affect your life for the rest of your life. And yeah. it's important that we know that just you have to like it's not a it's not a, a dash it's not a it's a it's a long marathon. Yes. Life. <laughs> yes. It and has if you go been. full. Yeah. And do well, it all we in the all first... kind of did that for a little while. I still then... continue. <laughs> yeah, 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 but, yeah. But I'm doing it in a responsible way. Yeah. Like, I want to look back on my choices and say, I didn't make the wrong choice. It just happened to be the wrong choice. Yeah, yeah, like right, you right. can't always know like what you your choice is. Specifically, no. Like, I, like <laughs> logically, it was it made sense. Like, yeah. you know, I wasn't like hastily and wastefully making a choice on something 
that I didn't think about. Like when I go do stuff on jackass and whatever, like I'm yeah. thinking about what I'm doing. Yeah. Like I might die if I don't properly do well, well what I'm about that, to do. Yeah. So <laughs> right. So yeah. Like the wild, like ah, it. like that's not like yeah, that exists. But in the reality of all this, ah, I'm yeah. thinking right now, like oh, he's wearing a green hat with a gray sweatshirt, like yeah. What's and like, I'm, I'm like crazy. calculating everything yeah. around me at all times <laughs> in a wild way. Yes. <laughs> that other people can like think I'm just a maniac, but. Yeah. How right. do you survive this long? Like, uh, like I mean, it's, right. There's, some there's of a us reason. Aren't here. And, yeah. Uh, you know, um, it sucks. Yeah. That we can't all be here forever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that's something I'm working on. Actually, uh, I've been up in Oregon. Um, I, I, I'm not meditating, but it, I'm basically meditating 24/7 while I'm walking around on this planet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm not like a consciously sitting there like. Oh, right, 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 right. But, but just there's be philosophies living, I have being that, aware, yeah. that I think, like it sucks that we can't just exist for forever. Yeah. Like it ends no matter who we are or what we've done. At some point, know? yeah, for sure. And um, I'm working on some things that might possibly change that. Okay. Good. Like it's Let of, me it's, in. It's not AI necessarily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the intelligence is already there. Yeah. It's how we take this consciousness and input it into another form. Oh, wow. That doesn't need to breathe and eat and drink water. Yeah. And technology has come a long ways, and it will, in our lifetime, I believe, be so that we can take our consciousness based on our memories from our past choices, and that's who you are tomorrow is who you were yesterday. So if you offered yeah. me... Do, do some crazy, like, hey, do some meth. I would be like, no, I don't do meth, right? <laughs> I'm not just going to all of a sudden get meth. Yeah. So I'm basing that choice off my consciousness based on my past. So we've recorded our past. Yeah. So why can't we then upload that consciousness into something like a hard drive? And then we For make the, choices based on our consciousness yeah. that is ethics and morals based on our past. Yeah. There's no difference whether, like, if my body ceases to exist, but my consciousness is still here, th why do you need a body? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if I can yeah. consciously know, like, I make my choices today, right now, in this body, yeah. because of who I am, right? You yeah. make your choices because of who you are. Well, who are you? Are you your body? No, you're no, the conscious yeah. that you are the memory of who you become, who you became as a kid and, and who you are now as an adult. And that's based on your ethics and your morals and your memory. Yeah. So how do you, do you think in terms of like past lives and stuff like that, do you think about having consciousness? I'm not sure. That? I'm not sure. And that's the problem is like, there's <laughs> like, we, I, I don't like, I'm not saying I'm like, like know all these things, but there's, there's definitely um, energy that you can tap into. Um, we'll get back to snowboarding, by the way. Yeah, I've yeah. Forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, shred on, hey, ah. hey, it drifted dude, in. It's <laughs> cute. It's, 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 it's Bluebird powder, <laughs> cherry, cherry, pop, pop, can, can, know how. What? That's an old reference to it. Yes, we're like, totally in there. Yeah, like Damn, I felt like 80s. I was on the mountain right now. You were, now. bro. You were. <laughs> Bluebird. Hell yeah. Uh, but <laughs> um, so basically, you can just you you are who you are based on who who you were like in your past well and that's what made and, me think of like past lives because i think like some like sometimes if you go and you have deja vu or you feel something those moments and also like when you're self reflecting and going through things in your life of trying to figure out what what is like stopping you or holding you back from your full potential like yeah. like there, there's some things that are embedded in you that you can't even you don't remember. Have any control and you don't have there. Yeah, and you don't even know why it's there. And I, and for me, I feel like maybe past lives or, or or stuff like that that are carried on into this life. Well, what is a life to to us? Is it breathing? To me, or is it the energy that we are? Because yeah. the energy that we are is God. Yeah. It, uh, like yeah. In well. every religion, and religion <laughs> is just man's way to try to control, to and understand, understand it, relationship yeah. with something we don't have a clue about. Right. But, <laughs> but you can actually feel it. Like when yes. you feel like, like, whoa, that was weird. I felt really, uh, this is deja vu, or I feel this energy. It's because what was happening, in, and this is something I want to like teach to humans. Yeah. Is that like animals and children can sense these things. What we happen, what happens is that we become adults, we become consumed with greed and all this other human oh, and block that. everything. And you don't allow yeah. that pure, that just pureness to come to, to the energy that's around us. So like, it sounds weird, 
but like sometimes like um Okay, I'm not condoning drugs by any means, but like if you take my I drugs, am. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> yeah. good. Somebody here. If God says it's okay, yeah, then yeah, let's do it. it. <laughs> uh, but like when you take mushrooms or you 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 do something that's almost like like uh, like uh, hallucinogenic that allows you to just like forget or or be open yeah. to energies around you. And you feel this and you come back and you're like, dude, I just had the craziest trip. I felt this thing. Like that feeling is always around us. It's and just, available you don't, too. Yeah. You don't, we don't like absorb it and allow it to come in because we're too distracted and too concerned about yeah. our daily lives and making bills to pay and like all oh, the football game and like, oh, let's go skate and like yeah, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, you know, in meditations, people do this. I think in meditations, I yeah. don't necessarily do meditations to go there but i'm there a lot because uh i'm honestly goes back to being the kid that grew up knowing that we're all going to end someday that basically i want to live my life as pure as i can yeah i don't want to have to think about that fact that i burned someone you know or, right. or like ruined somebody else's day or life yeah so my choices are upon me that i can like be like well i can be I can let that energy flow through me and and everyone has probably sensed like this weird feeling where they're like whoa dude i've been here before or you see something happen before it does happen and you're like whoa dude i just saw that happen before it happened yeah though if it's happened to you one time in life yeah ever then it's all you know that it's always happening you just didn't absorb it and allow you weren't conscious you weren't conscious of it in in all the other moments but if it happens yeah. one time, yeah, and it happens way more than one, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 and, yeah. It, and there's a, you know billions of people in this world, and and, yeah. and and plants and animals and energy and all that. We're not even sand on the beach, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like molecules holding the sand together. Yeah, maybe. Right but in the universe. No, I know. I feel like I mean, you I, go to a beach and like just go like with the sand through your hand, and yeah. there's thousands of beaches. Right, there's right. Un, there's an, yeah. You can't even count the amount of grains of sand in the world. Yeah. But you can't do that with the universe either, with how many possible universes there are. Right. And yeah. now with technology and imaging, we're, we're figuring these things out. So where does it begin and where does it end? Like if time travel is tr- like possible, you know, 186,000 miles per second, you divide that into eight different directions. You take a train and go two different ways. The tracks on that track, or you take a 100 mile an hour train this way and you take a 100 mile an hour train that way, how fast, what's the energy on the track? 200 miles an hour. Yeah. So you don't have to go in one direction to to create the 186,000 miles per second. You can take it into different directions, but that energy, that split of the molecule of time and space is possible. And if that's possible, then where does it all begin? If it already happened, and that's maybe what deja vu is. You talk about past lives and things, I don't know. Yeah, I know. But I, <laughs> I bet someday in our lifetime, with technology, yeah, the way I mean, look at like a Snapchat cell phone. will figure it out. Yeah, what you're dude. <laughs> at least Mark Zuckerberg is on it, bro. He's trifecta the <laughs> shit out of that time warp. Yeah. Tri- yeah actually, uh, I did a podcast with my friend Damien on uh, Turned Out a Punk. Uh, he's in a band called Fucked Up. Yeah. And um, I, I started talking about artificial intelligence ai and stuff and the thing about ai is is it's not artificial intelligence if you already have the intelligence yes it's how do we get the (laughs) intelligence out of here into there yeah and so i i i I put out a word uh you know i i was uh, pleading for elon musk elon musk to get a hold of me i know you're not the only one but you are a a possibility that you and i could tag team on some cool stuff bro i've got this stuff i'm working on (laughs) you've been working on your thing he's the guy is that camera there check Mm -hmm. that camera and that one there (laughs) yeah yeah elon yeah just hit me up bro (laughs) just you know my instagram is the probably the best way to get a hold of me because it's the most least invasive yeah. And that's just danger, E-H-R-E-N. Yeah. If there's an at, there danger Aaron, please, I implore you, <laughs> please, God quit making it. me trifecta for no reason. Would you DM the guy? <laughs> just DM me, bro. The future is now. <laughs> oh, right. right now. Now? No. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to snowboarding. So, yeah. uh, <laughs> so fresh so, pow pow. Yeah, bro. so I started doing that, and I loved it, and I was really focused on getting that 
I just was like, I'm, I'm going to be a, like, this is my life. And yeah. back then, you couldn't like the go online to to. This was like late at, '80s, early uh, this '90s. This is like 1990. Yeah. Yeah. And snowboarding was just like yeah. starting. Like, it was we like were inventing tricks. That like pointed board with like yeah, the my fin first on the back. <laughs> board was a GNU Kinetic, which was like yeah. a 170, and I was 15, so I was like, it was over my head. Yeah. I had, Elf, I had uh, GNU bindings that didn't fold down. I used Sorel boots with uh, Aunt Mabel's can't like straps that the, yeah, so yeah. my heels wouldn't lift up in the Sorels. Uh -huh. I had a starter jacket and jeans. Hell yeah. <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> Ready to go. Sick, bro. <laughs> and, uh, and snowboarding was like, like just like a goofy. And jeans. <laughs> it was like a goofy thing to do, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And then it became what it is. Like, it, during yeah. the 90s, it was like, all right, this, this is real, man. We're going like, yeah. to fly like legends. <laughs> and um, I know it's insane. And I, I did that um, pretty much every weekend until I graduated. I got a, I graduated high school a year early or a half a year early. Mm -hmm. I went to summer schools at a college so that I could snowboard, so yeah. that I could just be up on the mountains all winter. Uh, and then once I graduated, I was out. Yeah. Like I just went snowboarding, traveled, toured with my friends, and you know, contests and whatever else. And it was a small group of people back then. Everyone knew each other. And it was like skateboarding was like, it, and skateboarding was like core, you know, it was yeah. fucking like, I grew up skating Burnside and the, the, you had to earn that ability to, yeah, yeah. to know what that feeling is like to, to shred, to kick it, you know? But um, now it's like, everyone's entitled like to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to, to like, to, to be able to get on a snowboard or a skateboard and like there's skate parks everywhere but we got arrested I know. skateboarding it's crazy now it's like, like that and, and the abilities they like like i'm glad i'm not a kid right now because i couldn't imagine trying like if i was doing what i was doing back then i would definitely be dead oh yeah because i literally believed and still possibly do believe that i am a superhero Okay. But it's not true. It's Are not, you sure? I, I'm positive. <laughs> All right. I mean, I can't barely, unless being a superhero is like, I'm a superhero, like Glass, like yeah. Samuel L. Jackson yes, and Glass. Yes, yes. <laughs> like exactly that, okay yeah i'm a superhero <laughs> motherfucker i break that's my <laughs> yeah. special power now you have all these like metal <laughs> yeah, like, rods oh dude you. i got yeah, fusions so and, you're, you are yeah. bionic human yeah i yeah <laughs> my superpower is that i break now yes <laughs> i'm fucking good at it <laughs> real good at just breaking it <laughs> yeah like oh ouch yeah i don't even need to do that <laughs> ouch. I just, yeah. just thought about it and didn't even do it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ow, my hair hurts <laughs> yeah what's left of it <laughs> uh, anyway but, oh man um so but then you know, uh, X Games started in like 1998. Yeah, and and every like so, I was talking to somebody about this yes yesterday about like I was at the concerts in Portland. Like my first concert was Neurosis. I was 15 at La Luna in Portland, and Sleep opened up for them. Um, and I'm friends with all of those guys now, and like have been for a long time. But um, that was like grunge in the the, the yeah. 90s like like portland and seattle like and right. snowboarding was, was oregon it. and washington yeah. like it like i basically grew up in the epicenter of what is now still today what is cool like x right. games is what it is yeah like the music is still like you know based on the melvins basically started grunge like yeah. kurt cobain auditioned to be in the melvins yeah and then he roadied for them yeah. And that was all happening, like, in Aberdeen and uh, all around Seattle and Portland, like, the Wipers, Dead Moon. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and no, I was just, just like, and, I, I, right and, there. I, and I'm not, at, the, at the time, I wasn't thinking it was a part of anything special because it was just life. But looking right. back now, I'm like, holy crap, dude. Yeah. Growing up in the Northwest in the 90s was like, I, I, it was like, like, the, like, uh, like the 50s for rock and roll. Yeah. And like, or like the sixties in San Francisco, like, or the sixties like, yeah. in San Francisco, like yeah. hey, Nashbury, like that. Yeah. And, and you can't explain it to anybody that wasn't there, Yeah. but I'm definitely blessed. And I'm, I'm thankful that I was able to be a part of something. So just, and the people that I've been able to become friends with and, and meet through all of these years yeah. to, back in the, from back in the day, it's been like, that's, I think the most that's the thing I'm most thankful for. Not the experiences yeah. and the cool t-shirts, but like the friendships and the brotherhoods. Yeah, and, and the connections. The family that yeah. I've, I've gotten over those many years. Like from snowboarding. Yeah. From skateboarding, from surfing, from music, from jackass, from all of these things. Yeah. It's 
amazing. Yeah, it's incredible. And and I, it kind of made me, you know, it, it brings up the idea of like your photography because yeah. even throughout like all the different stages of things that you've done, whether it be snowboarding or mu the music scene or jackass or all this, like, dude, you, I mean, I've seen a bunch of your photos I, I, when I stayed with you, um, you know, back, we, we, yeah. we went to the Queens of the Stone Age show. Yeah. You, you got us like, yeah, I with cause those you're, guys. you're buds with all those yeah. dudes. And I was like, Oh sweet. So then we yeah. just get into the mix and get to hang out with everybody. And, and I think, uh, Nick Oliveri like yeah. played, it was like the first show. Oh, back. that was with the most boys. Yeah. Like he played color, moist yeah. boys. Yeah. And then like first time that he got on stage <clears throat> with yeah. them and played in a while. Yeah. That was the first time. And so time I was like, forever. got to be right there for that. Yeah. And I mean, and that it was like an opera house and that place yeah. was like, it sounded so yeah. incredible and, and just be able to experience that with you was so cool and and you have such rad photos of of that night but uh, but all, so I've been many shooting now yeah pretty much like i've shot all through jackass like i have yeah i've edited down to 450 photos that i've like chosen of all the photos of behind the scenes and stuff so i'm gonna drop a book with that eventually yeah uh, but the thing with the music thing is i've been working on this project I, I say for 10 years but it's been longer um and i would have put things out longer or before <clears throat> but I realized with tech, with social media that nobody cares anymore. It's like you flip through a photo. It could be the best. It could be a photo yeah. of an alien oh, landing on horrible, planet yeah. Earth yeah. Uh, on, onto the White House. Yeah. And you would like it, <laughs> maybe comment, cool stuff. What? Is that real? And Whoa. then flip to the next. Yeah. Even if it over. was real. Like that quick. Nobody Dude, cares anymore. I and know. so I've been holding on to... All like I've shot and toured with like I just was on tour with Mastodon and Primus. I Hell yeah. were out with Eagles of Death Metal Queens of Stone. I tour with bands like yeah. I shoot bands that come through Portland. And I go on tour, um, <clears throat> but I've been documenting bands yeah. um, and everything for the most part for for a very long time because when I was a kid I wanted I had this philosophy that if I can document everything then I can put that into a hard drive and I can live forever. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And, it's, and, and that's exactly Based how. on my consciousness that when technology comes around that I can make choices based. So the more information that I have about my life, yeah. the more, and, and that's part of the reason that I've been documenting as much as I have. It's crazy, but yeah. I, I had to no, stop it makes when I was a kid. Sense. Yeah. Like, so yeah. I've been documenting as much as possible. Yeah. Uh, but the what i'm doing with those photos for the music for the bands is um i'm basically building a, a book together that's like it'll be more than just a book i want to do like a show and everything with it but yeah uh it, basically it's going to be a rock and roll bible like i've shot over 800 bands more than more than one time obviously so yeah i've hundreds of thousands of photos and i've edited most everything everything's cataloged organized ready to go yeah it's just a matter of I don't want to put something out that I'm not ready for to back up with. So what I want to do is put out this, the Bible, and then uh, put out chapters of each of the bands that are in that, like 400 bands, 400 pages, and then I'm going to put out chapters. So like a book will come out with three bands in it, and it will be stories with the bands, yeah. photos with the bands, and all that. But it's, yeah. it's bigger than me. I, I don't know how to like release something that's like something like a life project, you know? Originally, right. my plan was to just put it out as a, like, after I died, like have yeah, it ready yeah. so somebody else, because I was like, I don't really necessarily want to, to care about the fame. I, I like to buy things. I like money. It's nice to be able yeah, to live yeah. and have nice things. But it was almost too scary for me to like put it out while I'm alive. And yeah. I haven't put it out yet, but like I, 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 it's almost like too overwhelming, like, yeah. like jackass was overwhelming like it changed our lives forever we are who now we are right like we, and when we when it's like i almost sometimes feel like and i might i'm not alone in this but i fear success sometimes. yeah right like, no, it's, totally it's scary normal, yeah. to be s successful yeah because it comes with more responsibility and more uh people looking at you and sometimes you just want to like live your life like yeah and, you know. and, and so many opportunities to run it off the rails. If, if in <laughs> the, if, yeah, and if in the end, the end result is the same, that the people get to see what it was that I was working on, right. whether I'm alive or not, then what's the difference? Right. Like, it still lives. Yes, exactly. I'm not going to, like, not yeah. show it. Yeah. But then I changed my mind a couple years back, and I was like, I want to try to put this out while I'm alive. Like, okay, and yeah. all the bands are always like, where's the photos, man? Where's the photos? 
I'm like, what? it's in the queue, bro. <laughs> like, it's yeah, so yeah, yeah. deep. Like, there's <laughs> the information and and the backups and all this stuff. It's like, it's 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 crazy. It's a lot. It's big. Yeah. It's more. I mean, I I you you kind of show me a few quick, and then I was like, whoa, and I was like wanting to see more. And you're like, yeah, yeah there's all this, and I just it was like just crazy amounts of hard drives and things. Yeah. And like, and it's like, holy shit. And I shoot film too, so yeah. I'm like, like you know, tons of film. Yeah. Dude, I mean, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool to and it, it, you know why I, I took it to the next level probably 15 years ago. Like really, like I get, I really got into cameras. Like like I, yeah. I used to shoot with like a Yashik T4 camera, a film camera. It was a great point to shoot camera before digital, and then digital happened. And and I I'm current on what is you know digital and film, also old school film cameras, but. Um, uh, I, I started really taking it seriously, like, you know, 15, well, maybe longer years ago. Yeah. And I, like, became an artist with my photography. It was Absolutely. my outlet because I was no longer able to skate as hard as I could or snowboard as hard as I could or surf or ride a motorcycle. Things my body don't, aren't allowing me to do. I still needed that passion and that, yeah. that feeling of, like, fuck yeah, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, that, ag that adrenaline that you get and i get that from shooting photos it's like i'm a pirate at sea capturing gold and i'm out at sea but I yeah have, hell yeah i have a, a a big giant pirate ship that's sinking because it's so full of gold and i need to get <laughs> yeah. it in i need to dock it yeah, yeah, yeah. and then have somebody like ready there to help manage it all yeah because i can't just be like oh, i'm a fucking pirate here yeah. comes danger Aaron with the gold and land and be like okay now uh hey do you guys want to help me take this off of the <laughs> The ship now. Yeah, I can't. I can't, I can't carry it all on my own. It'd yeah. take me longer to carry it off the boat than it did to get it. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 Oh, yeah. by the way, is there a bank or something like yeah. that? Like, I really want to <laughs> invest in a 401k. Yeah. 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 Like a set by IRA. Is that a possibility yeah. here? Yeah. Like, I mean, can we do something with this gold? How about <laughs> yeah. I just build a house with it? Yeah. Oh yeah, a golden house <laughs> where you can do a trifecta yeah. all day, every yeah. day. Oh, the golden throne, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the golden throne. Oh man. Hell yeah! So that's that's kind of what I've been up to, like yeah, and you still, know, it's still like the chunk, it's like the bunch. chunk aspect. Yeah, uh, you know, remember oh, Goonies, oh, and everyone's yeah. like, what happened <laughs> to those guys? Like, what, what happened to Chunk? Like, Chunk became a lawyer, dude. As yeah, far as I know, I know. Like, from what I've understood, is Chunk became a lawyer. Yeah, I don't even know his name, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> because in the public eye, in the world's eye, like you might as well be dead. You're not successful anymore. Yeah, like, you've disappeared from. And Hollywood. he's totally successful. And he's totally yeah. happy. And he's probably more <laughs> successful than some of the other guys who aren't even around anymore. Or whatever. Yeah. Like, like truly. Like I you remember don't have meeting to be him. Famous. Yeah. To be successful and happy in life. Like, yeah. If you once were on TV or in movies or in the public eye, you don't have to continue just to be happy. Right. Other people assume that you've fallen off the face of the earth. Yeah. But th 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 no. But you find or, your ha happiness elsewhere, and you yeah. can also yeah. And I, I'm no different than into, like Keanu yeah. Reeves. Hey, Keanu. We're both in the Matrix, <laughs> and I took the blue pill, One red of them. pill, red or I took fucking both, both pills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Keanu. Or what is his name? Ne uh, oh, uh, ne uh, Neo, 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 Neo. Neo. What? What is it? Yes, Neo. Neo? I think so. Is it Neo? <laughs> is it Neo? What's What's Keanu Reeves' name? It, oh, Neo. Yeah, I fucking. Yeah. I, Fuck yeah. you, Neo. I did both pills. <laughs> yeah, you pussy. <laughs> what are you going to think about that, God? I'll yeah. see you. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you in the Matrix. Yeah. That I Continuing to be. Mm hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. dude, so, okay, so lots of, like, you know, like, uh, lots of touring with bands and stuff. You said you yeah. just toured with, with I was Primus out with, and, with Mastodon, and, um, and then they were on tour with Primus, and I did all yeah. their videos. So I, run f I ran four cameras and audio all by myself. And damn, and then I shoot photos also. So I'm doing all the video <laughs> and shooting photos. So I'm, I've got like my setup is like two or three five Ds and a couple GoPros. And mm -hmm. the five D that I'm running, uh, I use a lens that's very versatile. Uh, and uh, I do video with it, and then also shoot photos with that. And while the other cameras are on sticks, and then I have to go check on them every once in a while and make sure they're still good. Yeah, I set up the audio through the board. With okay. Zoom, and then I capture the room uh, uh, audio and the board audio. One and man band. One, it has to be because <laughs> yeah. when you're on tour, yeah. In order for it to be real, I can't bring a crew. 
because right. I got a bunk in the tr- in the bus. Like I'm in the bus. Yeah. So I have a bunk, and if I had two or three people with me doing what should be done the proper way, then the, it's going to change the the whole aspect, the whole environment of it. Uh, yeah, so exactly. I want to feel it real. It is like and they're my friends. Different. And yeah. it's I'm out there collecting information, but I'm also trying to have a good time myself and uh, with my with my good friends. Yeah. In this life. Hell yeah. <laughs> so you do stills on Canon. Yeah, I've shot it? Canon since the beginning. Yeah. Like I've always shot Canon. Yeah. Like I've you know Canon 5D, 5D Mark II, Mark III, Mark IV. Yeah. And just keep going. And with, just keep yeah. going, and things do change, and technology gets better. But like, yeah. to be honest, I I just came down here from portland and i flew with my dog and two film cameras nice like two canon i got an a1 and an f1 but uh just film yeah and uh it's not like as uh it doesn't make sense to do that but it also doesn't make sense to like keep just shooting random photos digitally like like overloading hard drives when like if like with a film camera it better be a cool shot you want. Yep. And that's and, the and thing. And take it, and you better know what you're doing with your camera, because nowadays, exp- like developing film, like I shoot a lot of like 3200 black and white, like concert stuff, and that film's like 12 bucks a roll, and develop is like yeah. 15. Yeah. And if you get 36 shots, so it costs money for each photo. It's not just a memory yeah. card or compact flash card. You can just. I know. And like I, blast through and redo. Yeah, and there's something about kind of the whole idea of like if you do have just a digital, it's like it's yeah. in there somewhere. Yeah. And then like, but, I'll, I'll, but like I'll getting that look good. perfect shot of like <laughs> every like exposure and everything has to be just right in yeah. your composition. And you're like, all right, now. Yeah. Like rather than like, <laughs> yeah. man, we'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't get me wrong, I shoot digital. Yeah. Yeah. But. On but I mean, I wanted to just film is like fun have, yeah. to do. You know, like I feel like it's a fun time. Yeah, like getting old. Ha, have you found any old ro- rolls of film and you're like, oh God, <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's on this. I and know. Then you yeah. get it back and you're like, oh Jesus, I should have never found this film. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> now no you've else, seen uh, it. You can't. How, like, how, how, many, how many rolls do you think that you didn't find that someone else Somebody found? else developed? Yeah, yeah. Zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very responsible with my film. Yes, yes, very. And my information. Yeah, and it wasn't me. Like, like that's part <laughs> of like the whole thing too is being entrusted that you are able to be the filmer or photographer in certain in yeah. environments that the, everyone's trusting that you're not gonna like TMZ this shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Or or back, you know. I think Jackass started before TMZ, <laughs> way before, right? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. I can't imagine it wasn't like, like Jackass unfortunately pioneered the the planet like society <laughs> like it was before youtube i know yeah and pioneers get paid that. in pain it's a quote i say yeah, yeah, yeah. pioneers get paid in pain it's the guys after they get paid in, in moolah yeah and whatever blowjobs oh, sweet moolah but like youtube dudes right we were at a party uh years back and the youtube dudes just sold and i was like i asked one of the dudes i was like hey can i borrow some money because <laughs> basically youtube yeah, yeah, was yeah. created i think and this is what was told to me that basically people were sending in VHS tapes to MTV f- to get on Jackass, but we would never open them because you can't look at them because then we would be at fault right. for anything, like stole their idea or something. So there was a void between the public, the people that were inspired by what we were doing with Jackass, to then do it themselves, but they had nowhere to show it. Yeah. Hence YouTube. There you go. Yeah. And now, now YouTube, social media, like oh, the information, like... It's just so it's too much. It's crazy. But back when we started that, I it think was it's just enough. You think so? <laughs> no, no, it's way too fucking much. Fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're so fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like and we have become useless to our own world. Yeah. Like what are we? Just consumers. <laughs> Like, we don't even enjoy consuming anymore because we're Instagramming well, it. Well, and that's what I was saying, like, when you were talking about um, just how quickly, like, why put out the photos because how quickly it's, like, gone. Yeah. I was saying, like, you could have went on the most epic journey of your entire life. And yeah. you're, like, and you, you, you climb Mount Everest and then you go to the pyramids and you do all this. And you have, like, a you know, like, kind of some documents, like, photos of it. And people would be, like, oh, cool. 
What'd you do last weekend? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what? You going to the show tonight? <laughs> like, like I saw a fucking see? alien, dude. Yeah. Bigfoot lives. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're like, oh, cool. Yeah, it's CG, bro. It's, it's yeah, not real, yeah. obviously. You just move right on so quickly. It's it's almost like. So you have to make them. Yeah. You have to put it in front of them in such a way they can't not stop. Yeah. And at least. And, and like go, yeah. what? What? And if every page is a holy shit. Yeah. I, I miss that because I feel like that was it was like that when we were younger. It like, was because yeah. we like, you know how if you wanted to take a photo, you had to be a photographer. Right. Now everybody's a photographer. Yeah. 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 If you wanted to be take video, if you wanted to video something. Yeah. You had to like know that you, you had a know video camera yeah. and it wasn't in your pocket. It was on yeah. your shoulder, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like v- uh-huh. VX1000 v- was the dopest camera because you could it had the upper handle and you could yeah. death, death lens that thing and you got all your footage with it. Hell but yeah. like that was the sleekest. Like when we started <laughs> Jackass, I was filming with the VX1000 and the TRV900. Yeah. Those are cameras. And you were like And so like when it. we were filming like, like, like secret filming behind the trash can, we had something big in our hand. Now, yeah, yeah, I, you, yeah. like, like you can just take your phone and put it behind your hand and go like that with just the yeah. the, the lens itself and like film. You're texting something everywhere. Filming the whole thing. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and yeah, everyone. But you know what's good though? I always, I've always talked about this. The good thing that stuff wasn't around. Oh, bro, we would all be in prison. <laughs> yeah. We would all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would I all be super gluing know. our buttholes shut. Yes. Not to, be, to, as a stunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. mm-hmm. just uh-huh. making sure we weren't being yeah. invaded. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so are you still are you still riding motocross at all? Or yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I ride my Harley's, and uh, I was I blew out both my knees last year. I had two knee surgeries last yeah, year. I, I blew out that. one knee, ACL, on my good knee, and then I had my tenth knee surgery on my bad knee, as I say. <laughs> my good knee. The it's like there's nothing out left. The good knee. <laughs> my eyes. Oh, no, yeah. I had surgery on those, too. Lasix, like, 15 years ago. First thing I ever bought when I started oh, Jackass. Yeah. I was like, I want to be able to see. And fix these things. I'm tired of these guys fucking with me yeah. when I don't have my contacts <laughs> You can see in. it coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. Yeah, and yeah. I can see perfectly ever since. Nice. But, um, yeah, I still, I, it's been hard, like, to, to do anything physical. Like, waking up is painful. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then, like I, like, I literally sound like popcorn when I wake up. Like, yeah. crack, 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 crack. And then I take a warm shower and I, I loosen up. And I've been eating healthy. Yeah. Like, er. Nice. And conscious of that. And I didn't ever grow up needing to. Like, I ate, my mom made home-cooked meals, and it was wonderful. We ate whatever we wanted, but it was usually healthy. But now I look yeah. back, and I'm like, nothing we eat is fucking healthy. Yeah. Because everything's got crazy hormones in it. I went to the store last yesterday, and I was like, this one has sodium. It's like fifteen hundred thing. Like yeah. fifteen. What? Like everything that we eat and is sugar. Like it's organic, and then organic costs double some like most of the time. Yeah. And, oh, I know. But that's where all the hot chicks are at. So that's cool. You gotta, so you gotta you, pay I mean, double for the hot chicks. Like you could save a lot of money on not having <laughs> to like go to strip clubs and things if you just go to the organic section at the <laughs> at the supermarket. <laughs> you heard like, it here. Boom. That's, that's Banana it. organic, babe. Yeah, total babe. Dude, Banana babe. You eat organic? <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, right? But it's like, anyways, like, uh, I literally, this is, uh, this is something I, I say this, uh, this is how my life is now, is that when I was younger, I wanted to be sponsored by like, now I was sponsored back in the day by Airwalk and Oakley and, yeah. like, you know, like Volcom, all these brands. And I was like, dude, I want to be sponsored by them. Okay. And I try real hard. Now, I want to be sponsored by like the medical industry and yeah. <laughs> and health food companies food, and yeah. like like uh, different creams you can roll on like BioFreeze <laughs> like that's BioFreeze is a sponsor up in Portland for the yeah, Trailblazers yeah. so hook me up I buy it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but I need it that's the, the that you know like when when we were kids we want to be sponsored by these th- now I want yeah. to be sponsored by old people shit <laughs> yeah, well. like and I'm only 42 yeah but yeah. I, if you add 27 you surgeries quick. at 42 <laughs> and a year of your life for every surgery that would make me 60 wait I said I'm 42 I, that'd make me 69 Good, good year, bro. <laughs> this is my year. <laughs> this is, this it. is my year. 1990. All the banana babes you can handle, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, this my is my God. year. <laughs> so stoked. I'm glad I did this interview, yeah, bro. Dude, this podcast. Yeah. Help you figure out the like, math. This is my year. This is the summer of love. <laughs> yeah, here I'm it is. 69. Like, 
<laughs> Dude, uh -huh. wow. But literally, like, like in my philosophy of, of like, surgeries, yeah. and unless you've been through a, even one surgery, you don't know, like, there's the anesthesia. All those things affect you yeah. in your mind and eventually, like, come out. Like, all, I've had over 100 x-rays. I, my, my deal with that is that I think I'm weaning myself into being immune to radiation. No, oh, yes, I'm sure. Like the Iocane powder <laughs> on the Princess Bride. Like, uh -huh. you know, when Wesley was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, immune yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he yeah. trained. Right. I, Smart. Right? I'm like, I'm going to train with radiation. Sometimes I just stand in front of the microwave, put my hand on it like this, and just uh, pretend they're breasts. Yeah, just training. <laughs> just training, bro. What are you doing? Training. Radiation boobs, <laughs> man. <laughs> so, but but like it, like it in the healing time it takes like like six months sometimes to heal. Yeah. So that's six months out of a year. If you get 80 years in life, and I've had 27 surgeries. That means that half of those 27 surgeries have been, this, if not most of them, like I've basically spent 18 years injured. Damn. Yeah, that's fucked and up. It, you, and yeah. it isn't just the physical side of things, but it's also the mental side of things. Yeah. And yeah. that mental side is like we get. I feel like that's the you, hardest. Like when you're old, like when you're older, like 80, you can still feel like you're 50. Yeah. Like mentally, like yeah, I yeah. still feel like I'm 15 and I'm 42. Right. <laughs> but the mental side of the, the, the reality of the body and things like that play a, a factor in it. So, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm 69 years old now. Yeah. Hi, there you go. <laughs> Fucking summer of love. Dude, summer of love, man. <laughs> I'm going out in style. Yeah. Love. No, <laughs> but I'm not no, but going it's, out. But it's tough, though, because for real, like, you can get depressed super easy, dude, like, going through dude, this. I, I, that, the, yeah. the reason we do drugs and all these things is it's, the root is pain. Yeah. Whether it's mental or physical. A lot of times it's because you want to try something new, but it becomes, you do this because of the pain you're in. And like opioids and like in the 90s, we, we didn't just pioneer grunge and fucking snowboarding. We pioneered OG like Vicodins, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I, at the age of 18, breaking my neck was like, I knew I was in for a long run. So yeah. I never in 27 surgeries have ever been addicted to Vicodin or opioids, anything any of it yeah because like, if i would have i wouldn't be here like not like i am now yeah because that the, the doctor's prescribing it doesn't make it mean it's going to be right for you especially right. when the doctors are getting paid by the pharmaceutical companies Absolutely. to sell it to get it out there yeah like oh this kid fucking he hurt his ankle yeah take these bro yeah you'll feel fine <laughs> for two weeks yeah they're talking about and like, then you'll be addicted yeah and they like the notepad they're like writing something on is sponsored by oh, a company dude. that's sponsored and, and by a company yeah yeah like. and, and there, there's <laughs> like different companies for each yeah. one that like there's a hundred manufacturers of vicodin but this one is my sponsor yeah as a doctor so if i can get you addicted to these then then i'm gonna good, get yeah. reimbursed yeah. All this money. Yeah, it's crazy. I know. And it, it's so crazy, too, to just trust that. Like, and I think when you're younger and naive, you're like, oh, I guess they say that. And then, like, and then it also becomes an excuse to keep doing it. But, yeah. But, uh, well, it, like, yeah. Like, you're like, they said it's cool. Like, like, <laughs> like, uh, smoking cigarettes is bad for you. Well, it's bad for you because you can see that you're doing it, dude. Yeah. But if I can pop a pill and you don't know I'm on it, then it, then you didn't know it was bad for me. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it's good for me. <laughs> yeah. So like, like pills are so bad for you because they're so easy to hide. Yeah. Like, like I know. A, like it's like that's like, the sketchiest like part. Like weed, you don't like know. edibles, you can just eat an edible and fucking lose your mind for two days. <laughs> like yeah. I do a Rick Simpson oil. Like I've been doing it for three months now because of inflammation, and I've been it's yeah. totally helping, but it completely changes reality like i live eight hours sleeping i live eight hours awake in reality and then eight hours of rick simpson oil reality <laughs> <laughs> and they that mesh together reality. and they yeah. start like i start seeing things happen before they happen so then i question which one's real the real life that i'm supposed to be real or the one that i'm seeing things happen before they happen because yeah. i'm in this zone of feeling this energy yeah and uh, it gets to the point where you, I, I've had to like wean off of it, but I purposely did it like for the inflammation in my body to, to yeah, heal right. my, it's my like CBD oil or, or yeah, it's, or, it's, a, it's like a tincture, but it's the way yeah. that it's processed. It uses everything of the cannabis, cannabis, the cannabis, whatever, all that. Yeah. And it, it attaches to cells and helps with inflammation. And I don't recommend it to anybody that isn't mentally strong enough to handle it because you yeah. will not come back.
if you do too much. Yeah. You'll never be able to forget and the feeling and that like that intensity. That shit's crazy, dude. Like I, I, I've been out of it for so long that I, like yeah. just the level of how it's all shifted. But, but that that stuff will happen. But where, CBD, like yeah. if you were to take CBD for anxiety or pain or things like that, yeah. would you rather take CBD or would you rather take Vicodin? Vicodin's not going to cure no, anything. CBD for sure. Yeah, because it actually has some healing properties yeah. to it. I, I, I mean, even though I've been sober yeah, all these years, sure. I still back marijuana. Like, yeah, I think that 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 responsibly. Yeah, anything. And, yeah, and and but but the but the benefits of that are I think far more so than pharmaceuticals. One hundred percent. Like that stuff to me is just obviously government drug deal. But like, yeah. But marijuana actually can do some great things if, yeah. if used responsibly. And, yeah. And, and, and now they're looking yeah. into, you know, well, Oregon's passing, a, it's in the ballot that mushrooms become legal. Yeah. And uh, those are psilocybin. Sweet too. Like, yeah, but done <laughs> yeah. responsibly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, who doesn't yeah. love an eighth of mushrooms out yeah, in the yeah, woods? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> See you fucking next week. Yeah. I mean, hey. But, yeah. It, but, it, but yeah. like, in a capsule, in a regulated amount, it, like, it, taking it in small doses that yeah. are manageable, um, help with PTSD, anxiety, pain, all of it. But yeah. it's not a cure. The right. cure is when you take it to live such a way that it's going to benefit you for tomorrow, such as, okay, right, now right, right. I feel relaxed, I'm gonna stretch. Right. So that yeah. it's not just gonna well, go to waste. And that's the thing is like, is using it to take action, whereas yeah. most people go, well, that Yeah, it's like it. taking powder to go, to, like to get muscles, but then yeah. not going to work out. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. Like, oh, dude, I'm getting ripped, bro. <laughs> it's so what are you doing? I don't know, go to the movie theater? <laughs> yeah. Chill. <laughs> yeah, get extra butter on that popcorn. <laughs> dude, I did 14 protein <laughs> shakes today, man. I'm killing it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> just a saggy pile of shit after that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I mean, that's a perfect analogy because, but I think a lot of people have that mindset of like, oh, I have anxiety, so I'll just take this. Like, yeah, because it cures it for that hour or two, yeah. and then you take more, and then you take more. Right, but not. But it's not curing any actions of that. That stuff is all s s meant to be like temporary. Yeah, and and I and my own personal thing is I question even the temporary with the chemical well, or pharmaceutical. Why would you unless... not want to feel the pain that you're in? Yeah. Right. Like. It sucks. It's it's but a real thing like, to you have were paralyzed anxiety or, yeah. and you couldn't feel your legs. Like that was kind of how I didn't become addicted to it was that I was like, fuck it. I'm going to feel the pain. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I used it as like adrenaline. Like I'm a psychotic weirdo. Yeah. But I also grew up in a mortuary. So what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I used that pain as my drug. Yeah. And now in my old age, it's kind of gotten kind of beat. I'm like over it. I don't need to feel the pain. It's like, yeah, yeah. come on. Bro, yeah. like really? Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah, we understand. But, it hurts. but like, f like if you were paralyzed, you couldn't feel your legs. That's what I would say to myself. I was like, at least I can feel the pain. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can. I'm gonna feel this pain. Because <laughs> if I numb the pain, then I don't know what the pain is. Then I don't know what the consequences are. Yeah. I don't know what any of this is. No, because that makes sense. I don't yeah. feel it. Right. So, I you know just manage manage yourself as appropriate as you can. Yeah. No, I had a, I had like a hernia surgery last year and then um they I can't do any of those other drugs so I just do like ibuprofen. Yeah. And uh it hurt like a motherfucker, but you just went through it. Yeah. Know? And just but did, like, and you healed by by taking your time and then yeah. you started doing stretches I would imagine. Yeah, exactly. And it hurt to do the stretches, but are you better now? Yeah. If you didn't stretch and heal yourself and just took medicine, do you think you'd be better? Like no, pills? No. no. Hell no. You well, have I mean, to work dude, at if I it. took the if I took any like narcotics, I'd be fucking full relapse right now. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a yeah. problem. Yeah. So 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 yeah, no, and you're right. It is it's taking those actions of of healing and getting better and doing that. But. And you can't blame anyone else. Before we started this podcast, we were laughing about blaming somebody else for everything. Like yeah. you can't blame anyone else. Right, right, right. You had the conscious decision to make the choice whether you're in a human body or a robot body. It don't matter. Your yeah. fucking consciousness <laughs> chose to do what you did. So don't blame anybody else. Else. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, take action of yourself. Like and fucking humans have become so just <laughs> fucking. Diseased. How can I deflect this and put it on somebody uh, else? Yeah, and make like it somebody we're else's fault. And make it, make it, it's everywhere. Like we spread. Like <laughs> it's 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 mm -hmm. crazy. Oh yeah. Like we 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 need to check ourselves, man. 
Yeah. Like no, we I, really I mean, need to like just take basis. a day and like make yeah. it a holiday where there's <laughs> just check everyone needs to you check wreck yourself. yourself. Day. Yeah. <laughs> the, on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Yeah. Different song, but same here. <laughs> uh, yeah. But the point is, is yeah, we really need to like fucking take take a day or a month or a week or just a couple hours a day. Yeah. And think about the things that I'm saying. And I'm, I'm not saying this because I'm all seeing, but it's my philosophy. And, uh, and just, just take, take a moment, listen. Yeah. Hit rewind. If something meant something to you, listen to it again. You're not alone. We're all on this planet and this universe together. Yeah. And your choices affect everything for the rest of your life and others around you. So fucking wake up. Quit being just dumb, drunk, dipshits, fucking blah, doing whatever. Like, it's not a video game, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, and we had to kind of learn that the hard way in some Fucking, ways. what's that yeah. one taxi driver game where they just rape people um, and beat the shit out of them? Grand Theft. Grand Theft yeah, Auto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not Grand Theft Auto. Although it's a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> it's rape everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's like, rah! Yeah, it's kind of like... That's my car now. Yeah. <laughs> it's true to life at this point. <laughs> yeah. Just take a day, put the fucking video game controller down. Yeah. Hell yeah. And just trifecta the shit out of some stuff, bro. Just masturbate, puke, and shit. Yes. Just once in your life. If you haven't, <laughs> you haven't lived. <laughs> well, dude, it's been awesome to have you on this Bathroom Break podcast. Yeah, it's and, wonderful. Uh, I think that's a good way to walk out of here. We should go try to do a trifecta right Tandem now. trifecta? Tandem trifecta. Tom. <laughs> we need another bathroom stat. We Wait. got an outhouse out there. We can roll that in. We can in have next a trifecta trifecta if we bring Tom into the mix. Dude. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Tom, can we get another bathroom next to the other bathroom? We want to do a tandem trifecta. Or or a trifecta trifecta. Okay, you have a bathroom. You have a bathroom. I'll go to the outhouse. Okay. Done. <laughs> Thanks, brother. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>